The trailer burned for hours here at Ward Trucking on McKinley Avenue. It led to evacuations and road closures. Now that the fire's out, there are lingering questions about damage to the environment. From drone track, you can see what firefighters faced. Lithium ion batteries burning along with chemicals in the trailer. The fears, a deadly explosion. That didn't happen, but one day later, there could be dangers in the debris, something the Ohio EPA is monitoring. It really was kind of a textbook in terms of coordination. Ann Vogel is the EPA director. Yesterday, we did obviously have a fire, and so anytime there's a fire, there's particulate being released into the environment. This was a very short-term acute you know, release of of um, particulate into the air. Because of that, she says air quality monitors show no serious health risks from the smoke. As for the water poured on the fire, it was contained for disposal, but some water likely ended up in storm sewers. It helps that we've had a lot of rain here in central Ohio, and so any small levels that were released into the storm sewers are diluted immediately uh, in our large rivers. So again, we haven't found any levels of any concern uh, for anything that entered the waterways. The owner of the trailer is responsible for the cleanup. They've hired experts to help with that. Could the company face state fines? Too soon to say. This is something that, again, you know, we don't rush these these investigations. We'll work closely with the hazmat teams, the the local responders, the PUCO hazmat team to figure out what happened here. We got to figure out if you know what went wrong, and we will do that. Uh, so too too soon to say. Once the investigation is complete, they'll collect what's left of the lithium ion batteries and properly pack them so they can be taken to a recycling facility. I'm Kurt Ludlow reporting.